In New Egypt, New Jersey, lives a 12-year-old millionaire. His name is Cardigan Bay. Cardigan Bay was bred in New Zealand. In 1964, he arrived in America, an eight-year-old gelded pacer with shaky legs and a knockdown hip. He won $100,000 in five years of racing down under. I'm Charlie Jones for Sports Illustrated, rooting on the rail for Cardigan Bay. Stanley Dancer, trainer and driver of Cardigan Bay, says the man who takes care of Cardi is the biggest job of all. That caretaker is Joe Weidman, who knows every bone and sinew of Cardi's old carcass. Way back down under, Cardigan Bay raced under saddle. He lost this one by a nose. But even then, he was a crowd pleaser. In 1961, while the stands at Addington Racetrack in New Zealand were burning down, 10,000 players paid little attention. They were rooting for Cardi. He arrived in America in 1964 and soon made his presence felt, winning the Good Time Classic at Yonkers Raceway, New York. But his biggest victory there was the $100,000 international pace in 66. As we see in this black and white footage, he won it big. He and Stanley Dancer were used to the winner's circle. Yonkers was good to Dancer and old Cardi. It was right on this track that Cardi nosed out the great Brett Hanover in the pace of the century. Dancer says this was Cardigan Bay's greatest effort. There they are, on the way to a million, after one of many two-minute miles. Cardigan Bay has made more comebacks than a boomerang. He was laid off in 65, 66, and 67 with two beat-up legs in Whirlpool Bath. But here he is in 1968 on a track in Windsor, Canada, winning the Provincial Cup. That million is getting closer. Cardigan Bay is almost 13 years old, over 60 in human terms. But he still likes to run, and here he is at Freehold Raceway in New Jersey on September 14, 1968, just $7,000 away from $1 million in lifetime earnings. That gallant heart is pumping extra life into those old legs. Cardigan Bay, the first harness horse in history to earn a million dollars. And look at that time. A mile in 201. Cardigan Bay made his million the hard way. Years of pacing on beat up legs. But now it's all over. He's going down under, back to New Zealand. Stanley, three years ago when you paid $100,000 for Cardigan Bay in Australia, a lot of people thought you were crazy. Absolutely, Jim, and tell you, if he hadn't have turned out, they'd still be telling me about it, too. And uh, sometimes, you know, it'd be easy to say I could have agreed with him, but uh, it all turned out great. Uh, he has been a great horse, and there is a possibility that he could, could get to that million-dollar mark, and no one's ever done that before. No, Jim, right now, I'd say even uh, this horse has a better chance than he did when we retired him last fall from the races. Uh, after he won his last two $50,000 races last fall on December 12th, he's the last one. But right now, he's up to a race, which sometimes is hard to get him up to. He trained in two four and four fifths here at home. This horse has had ailment after ailment, as you well know. He's had a broken spread bone. He had one of them removed, about two inches of it. And then after that, he cracked another one on the other side. And then from that, you get what we call suspensory ligaments involved. And it's no different than a baseball player when he's got an arm that's involved quite sore. He's had chips, and they've been removed, and then his ligaments get sore and tight. But this is a horse that just made a tremendous comeback, and I would say not many of them would have done what he's done. Now, there is one thing that every uh, racing fan, I guess, and certainly every average fan would ask, what is the difference between the pace and the trot? Now, 
uh, Cardigan Bay here can demonstrate that for us. He, it, it's unusual that he can go from the trot to the pace, right? Oh, Jim, it is. I'd say only 10% of our horses actually racing pacers would do what this horse can do. Actually, when he's jogging slow, why, you're jogging on the trot, and you can just take your lines and shifting over on the pace, which is really great. And uh, he's an old pro, I'd like to say. As we watch this, what is the difference between the trot and the pace? Well, if you watch it close, Jim, while he's trotting, you'll see his right front leg and his left hind leg going forward at the same time. Now, when he switches over to the pace, you'll see his right front leg and his right rear leg going forward at the same time. They're just the opposite. Now, this is a Bonjour Hanover, and... leading from Poker Moonshine. Poker Moonshine gone up to challenge on the outside. Adios Vic third. Adios marches his fourth and he's moving off the rail. Then follows Cardigan Bay, Sharon Irishman, Mary Prom. Now Poker Moonshine has taken over the running down the back from Smoke Over but rushing up is Adios marches then Adios Vic Cardigan Bay. Now Adios marches has decided to challenge and he's taken the lead. Adios marches has hit the front from Poker Moonshine. In third place then was Smoke Over, followed by Adios Vic, Cardigan Bay, Sharon Irishman and Mary Prom. 
Come around the bend, two laps of the course to go, and now coming with a rush again is Smokeover. Smokeover now challenging Adios Marches for the lead and has hit the front. Smokeover has now hit the front from Adios Marches, Poker Moonshine, then comes Adios Vic, Cardigan Bay, Sharon Irishman, Mary Prom. Now Adios Marches has hit the front again. It's been a cat and mouse game in front at the moment, but Adios Marches is back in front now from Smokeover, who's in second and settling. Poker Moonshine third, followed by Adios Vic. Cardigan Bay going comfortably for Dancer in fifth. Sharon Irishman second last and Mary Prom at the rear. Down the back, a lap and a half to go. And the leader is Adios Marches from Smokeover. Cardigan Bay is in fifth position and going well for Dancer. Now it's um, Adios Marches, Smokeover, Poker Moonshine, Adios Vic, Cardigan Bay, Sharon Irishman, Mary Prom, they're in Indian file as they come around the corner. A lap of the course to go this time, and there goes Dancer on Cardigan Bay. He's the first off the rails, Cardigan Bay going up with a rush and being followed by Sharon Irishman. Into the straight, a lap of the course to go. Adios Marches is leading. Smoke over in second. On the inside, Poker Moonshine. Up on the outside goes Cardigan Bay, followed then by Adios Vic. Sharon Irishman around the outside, and at the rear is Mary Prom. A circuit of the course to go. Adios Marches is leading. In second position on the outside now, Cardigan Bay. In third position next was Smokeover. Up on the outside was Sharon Irishman, followed by Poker Moonshine, Adios Vic and Mary Prom. Down the back they go. And it's Adios Marches still. Cardigan Bay on the outside, Smokeover on the inside. Sharon Irishman, Poker Moonshine, Adios Vic moves off the fence and in last position Mary Prom. It's Adios Marches as they leave the back straight. Cardigan Bay up on the outside with Dancer. He's about to get cracking. Then comes Smokeover, followed by, on the outside, Sharon Irishman, Poker Moonshine, Adios Vic, and Mary Prom coming around the corner on the final occasion, and Cardigan Bay is challenging Adios Marches. Adios Marches leads from Cardigan Bay. Smokeover on the inside. Sharon Irishman out very wide, followed by Poker Moonshine, Adios Vic down the outside. Cardigan Bay has put his head in front from Adios Marches, and coming through is Smokeover. Followed then by Poker Moonshine, but Cardigan Bay is too good and is one from Smokeover. Adios March is third, followed by Poker Moonshine. Step Caduceus. Career 1963, and the field move onto the track for the running of the 1963 5,000-pound Harold Park Summer Cup. And all eyes are on number 12, the New Zealand champion, uh, Cardigan Bay, having his first run here on Harold Park Paceway. At the time of this race, he is favoured for the Inter-Dominion Pacing Championship Series to be held um, shortly in Adelaide, Australia. His main rival will be number 11, Chief Vitesse, and of course it uh, is an excellent field here for this race, the Howell Park Summer Cup tonight, uh, with the field made up of Mary Mavis, number one, number two, Eden Monaro, and number three, Seely, number four, Last Command, number five, Maestro's Melody, number six, Woodland Prince, number seven, El Tegra, number eight, Diamond Hanover, number nine, Lose Hope, number 10, Wickerwack, number 11, Chief Vitesse, and number 12, Cardigan Bay will cross to the barrier as they jump. Howell Park Faceway, 2nd of February, 1963. This is the 5,000 pound Summer Cup and Eden Monaro is the leader as they come to the straight shortly after the start. Uh, from Wickerwack showing up on the outside, in behind them was Woodland Prince there, followed then by Seeley, well placed on the outside, Mary Mavis on the rails. Cardigan Bay wide is trailing Seeley, there followed by Diamond Hanover on the rails. The next one is Loose Hope. In behind Loose Hope is Wickerwack there, followed by Maestro's Melody. A fair gap then to Last Command, and El Tegra is last. On the bottom turn now, and making the run to the back straight, and Jim Cappen has Eden Monaro settled well in the lead, settled down well in the lead. Wickerwack is on the outside, a length back. A head back on the inside of Wickerwack is Woodland Prince. They're followed on the outside by Seeley. Half a length back inside Seeley is Mary Mavis. On the outside of Seeley, about three quarters of a length back 
on the outside of Mary Mavis, rather, is Cardigan Bay. They're followed then by Diamond Hell over inside Cardigan Bay. Loose Hope Wide is trailing Cardigan Bay. Maestro's Melody is in on the rails. The next one is Chief Test Wide, who's trailing Loose Hope. El Tegra is in second last place, and Last Command is close up on the outside in last place. They straighten a the run down to the winning post, where they'll have uh, two circuits of the course to go, and the leader is still Eden Monaro from Wickerwack showing up on the outside. In on the rails is Woodland Prince. Seely White is next. They're followed by Mary Mavis with Cardigan Bay on the outside of Mary Mavis. The next one is Diamond Hanover with Loose Hope on the outside of Diamond Hanover. They're followed by Maestro's Melody. Uh, Wickerwack ran right off the track there in the centre of the field and has dropped back to last. However, the uh, leader, uh, Chief Patess, is on the outside of Maestro's Melody about fourth last. El Tegra is next, then last command and Wickerwack has been pulled up. Up along the back straight, and Seeley has gone to the lead from Eden Monaro. Cardigan Bay moving forward up on the outside, and Eden Monaro is close up in second place. They're followed then by Loose Hope making ground wide, then Diamond Hanover being urged forward, Woodland Prince losing ground on the rails, then Mary Mavis. Uh, Chief for Test Wide has to make up a lot of ground. Maestro's Melody is on the rails. On the outside of him as last command, and Wickerwack has pulled up. El Tegra is turning into the straight now, second last. In the straight now and running to the winning post, Bell and Seeley is holding Cardigan Bay at the moment with Loose Hope moving up three wide, covering a fair amount of extra ground. Eden Monaro is on the rails, then Diamond Hanover, Woodland Prince, Chief for Test Wide, then Mary Mavis, and they're followed by Last Command and Maestro's Melody. El Tegra is out of it and uh, Wickerwack has been pulled up. Two furlongs out in the back straight and Seeley is still holding Cardigan Bay. Cardigan Bay's driver calls for his effort now and he's moving fast and quickly on the outside. The driver of Cardigan Bay has gone for the whip and shot that horse clear of Seeley who's now under the whip. Then Lose Hope, Chief Patess is finishing determinately under the whip and then Eden Monaro. Cardigan Bay from Seeley under the whip, Lose Hope and Chief Patess. But Cardigan Bay is too good for them in the straight. He's clearing away from the opposition and it's all over. Cardigan Bay runs home about four lengths in front of Seeley, who just lasted to beat uh, Mary Mavis, who finished fast to perhaps get third place ahead of Chief Test, then lose Hope, Eden Monaro, Last Command, Woodland Prince, Maestro's Melody, Diamond Hanover, um, El Tech. The March 1963. This is the uh, three for all. Cardigan Bay begins very fast. Lose Hope moving up quickly on the outside. And as they settle down with three circuits of the course to go, Cardigan Bay has been driven to the front by Bill Walkins. Loose Hope is in second place. Running third on the rails then is Mary Mavis. They're followed by Eden Monaro, a gap to Blazing Arrow. The next one is Wickerwack. He's followed by, or she rather, is followed by uh, White Tacky Hanover. They're followed then by Medium Blue, who's a long way from the leaders. Up along the back straight, and Cardigan Bay is moving along smoothly in front. A length in front of Loose Hope on the outside. The field is packed up as uh, Cardigan Bay slows them down. Mary Mavis is running third on the rails. Fourth on the outside is Eden Monaro. Fifth is Wickerwack. Sixth on the outside then is Blazing Arrow. Seventh in behind them is Waitaki Hanover. And last in a packed up field now is Medium Blue. They come down to the winning post this time where they will have uh, two circuits of the course to go. And uh, Cardigan Bay is sold along to keep the lead. Out a length in front of Loose Hope on the outside. Uh, in behind them then, uh, getting a cut touch with a whip there is Mary Mavis. Fourth on the outside then is Eden Monaro. He's followed by Blazing Arrow Wide. Wickerwack in behind them. They're followed by White Tacky Hanover. And a gap to Medium Blue in last place, but the field is well packed up. Not going too fast at the moment with Cardigan Bay bowling along in front of Loose Hope on the outside. Uh, running third on the rails is Mary Mavis. Fourth on the outside then is Eden Monaro. Fifth is Wickerwack. The next one, Blazing Arrow on the outside. Waitaki Hanover is next. And uh, Medium Blue with that horse uh, hitting Edgar Kenley uh, on the head with his head uh, is back in last place. They're on the top turn. Coming back to the straight again with a bell lap coming up. And Cardigan Bay is pacing along quietly in front. Lose Hope on the outside. Mary Mavis in behind them. Wide as Eden Monaro. Wickerwack is on, on the rails. They're followed wide by Blazing Arrow. Waitaki Hanover on the rails. And last, Medium Blue. And the field pretty well packed. Uh, not got much pace on as they come down to the winning post. This is the bell. And the Cardigan Bay still leads from Lose Hope on the outside. On the three furlong turn, it's Cardigan Bay. Clear of Lose Hope on the outside. They're followed then in behind them. 
uh, by Mary Mavis. The next one on the outside, Eden and Arrow, Wigawag, then Blazing Arrow. Why Tacky Hanover in a bad pocket at the moment and last medium blue. Two furlongs out in the back straight and Wilkins still has a strong hold on the uh, Cardigan Bay but he's just doing as he likes in front of the moment. A length in front of Lose Hope. They're followed then by Mary Mavis, Eden Monaro. The next one then is Wigawag followed by Blazing Arrow. White Jackie Hanover hasn't anywhere to go at the moment and Medium Blue moving around the outside. They're coming up to the turn and straightening for the run home. Cardigan Bay leads well from Lose Hope. They're followed by Mary Mavis and Eden Monaro out wide and uh, then uh, Blazing Arrow and White Jackie Hanover in behind them. Cardigan Bay is well clear. It's all over. Cardigan Bay a very easy winner. Cardigan Bay first, close for the places. Uh, Mary Mavis then lose hope there, followed by Eden Monaro, White Jackie Hanover, in behind them, Wickerwack, Blazing Arrow, and Medium Blue Last. And there he is, the great champion, Cardigan Bay, uh, won as he liked, driven tonight by Bill Wilkins, winner of the 1963 Inter-Dominion Placing Championship in Adelaide. <laughs> This is the first Easter free-for-all. Cardigan Blay a little slow, but it's moving up quickly. However, as they run after the winning post now with three circuits of the course to go, Tarkula is the leader. Uh, in behind them, El Tegra. There's Cardigan Bay moving fast forward, being tapped along by Wilkins and moving up quickly on the outside. Tarkula leads from Cardigan Bay, then El Tegra. Uh, the next one, Medium Blue, he's followed then by Gentry, Arcades and Seeley. Cardigan Bay has taken the lead away from Tarkula and striding out powerfully leads by one length from Tarkula. Uh, crossing to the rails, it's Cardigan Bay moving away from Tarkula, then El Tegra. Uh, they're followed moving around them by Gentry, Medium Blue, then Sealy trailing Gentry and Arcades is in behind them in last place on the rails. In the straight and running to the winning post where they've got a, two circuits of the course to go. Wilkins looking back at uh, Gentry, but Cardigan Bay leads as they come down to the winning post. Uh, Gentry moving up for first haul in second place with Tarkula ahead back on the rails. They're followed by Seely moving forward and trailing Gentry. The next one is El Tegra, medium blue, and last in the race is Arcades. On the bottom turn now and coming, going across to the back straight again. And here the leader is still Cardigan Bay. Gentry moving forward for Perth Hall in second place on the outside. Tarkula is inside Gentry. Seely going well and trailing uh, Gentry. They're followed by El Tegra, neck back inside uh, Seely. The next one is medium blue, and there's Arcades commencing a run from last place. On the top turn, not much pace on as they come back to the straight again. And here the leader is still Cardigan Bay, with Wilkins having a firm hold on the champion. Gentry is on the outside of Tarkula, those two together. Tarkula on the rails. El Tegra in behind them with Seely on the outside of El Tegra. The next one wide is Arcades with medium blue close up on the rails. They're in the straight and running to the winning post. This is the bell and Cardigan Bay is still moving along well in front. Gentry close up on the outside, in behind them is Tarkula. They're followed by Seely who skipped a little. The next one on the rails is El Tegra and back together in last place, medium blue on the rails and Arcades on the outside. They're about to straighten for the run up the back straight. Two and a half furlongs out and Wilkins eases the way in a little on Cardigan Bay who still leads from Gentry. Tarkula is third, then Seely fourth, then El Tegra and the next one is Arcades with medium blue in behind them. Cardigan Bay still leading well. Uh, Purse Hall at work now on Gentry. Tarkula is running second in behind them. They're followed now by uh, uh, El Tegra, Seely. Cardigan Bay a shot clear, Tarkula finishing under the whip, but Gentry appears to be done with El Tegra, then Seely, Arcades and Medium Blue. Cardigan Bay well clear as they are in the straight now. Tarkula is making some sort of an effort and they've cleared out in front of the field. A working gallop for the champion, Cardigan Bay first, Tarkula second, they're followed by Medium Blue third, close in a line together, Seely, Arcades, El Tegra. Furlong's out very well from his 36 yard handicap. However, as they run past the winning post the first time, Waitaki Hanover has gone to the lead from Mary Mavis, running third, medium blue. Yonkers moving forward with Jack's flight getting through on the inside of Yonkers and just ahead of that horse. The next one is Diamond Hanover with El Tegra making ground on the rails. Uh, they're followed then by Diamond Hanover, lose hope. There's Cardigan Bay commencing to make ground wide with Seely uh, back in last place. They're on the top of the back straight now and uh, coming back to the straight again and here the leader is Waitaki Hanover moving along freely in front for Edgar Kennelly. 
He's clear of Mary Mavis. Running third is Medium Blue. Jack's flight, then the grey old Tegra showing up on the outside. In behind them is Yonkers. On the outside is Diamond Hanover. Loose Hope um, with Cardigan Bay on the outside of Loose Hope. And Sealy trailing uh, Cardigan Bay, who got into a bit of trouble there and lost ground. Um, at the winning post now, uh, two circuits of the course to go. White Tacky Hanover leading. Uh, moving in behind him is Mary Mavis. They're followed by El Tegra. The next one is Medium Blue. Diamond Hanover going up on the outside of Jack's flight. Then Cardigan Bay moving along freely again then. The next one is Lose Hope Seeley. And Yonkers, who got into trouble, has dropped out of it. Up along the back straight now. A lap and a half out. And White Tacky Hanover still pacing freely in front. One and a half lengths in front of Mary Mavis. The next one is El Tegra, then Medium Blue. They're followed by Diamond Hanover, Jack's flight. Cardigan Blay on the outside. This is uh, trailing Diamond Hanover. Lose Hope a length back inside Cardigan Bay, then Sealy, and Yongas is out of it. They're about to straighten the run down to the winning post. The bell lap coming up and first into the straight. White Tacky Hanover from Mary Mavis in behind the Medium Blue. El Tegra on the outside, then Jack's flight. The next one, Diamond Hanover. Lose Hope. Cardigan Bay moving forward, trailing Diamond Hanover, then Sealy and Yonkers at last. At the winning post, Annabelle and down to the three furlong turn. Waitaki Hanover is still the leader from Mary Mavis. The next one, Medium Blue, they're followed then by El Tegra. The next one is Diamond Hanover, Cardigan Bay moving fast around the outside. Jack Flight then Loose Hope and Sealy finishing on. Waitaki Hanover is a good leader up along the back straight from Mary Mavis. And now hard driven under the whip, Cardigan Bay is finishing with a fast run around the outside. Medium Blue, then El Tegra and Jack's Flight. Waitaki Hanover being urged along in front of this great champion, Cardigan Bay has moved up effortlessly on the outside. Both the leaders under the whip now. Waitaki Hanover on the inside, Cardigan Bay on the outside, then Mary Mavis, Medium Blue and Jack's Flight. In the straight and Cardigan Bay a shot well clear and in the run home it's a great horse this one of the greatest paces this country has ever seen. Cardigan Bay comes down to the line a great win. Mary Mavis second close for the placings. Medium Blue or Jack's Flight then White Jackie Hanover. They're followed by Lose Hope, Sealy, El Tegra and uh, next one in the race is Diamond Hanover and just coming down to the line now Yonkers. <laughs> of April 1963 and the great New Zealand champion Cardigan Bay will endeavour tonight to be the first horse in the history of the race to win the £5,000 Lord Mayor's Cup from 48 yards behind. Tonight he meets uh, some great horses, the best places in the land at the moment and will cross to the barrier when they jump. I'm settling down, Mary Mavis is the leader from Yonkers uh, they're followed by Medium Blue, Woodland Prince, then White Tacky Hanover up on the outside of him. The next one is uh, Jack Spite, Adroit going through on the rails, then Eden Monaro, Lose Hope, Sealy after a bad start is uh, third last in the race, second last is Chief Atess, and Cardigan Bay is last. In the straight now and running to the winning post, three circuits of the course to go, and here the leader is Mary Mavis. Yonkers going up fast on the outside and free wide, Medium Blue is moving forward. White Tacky Hanover close up in behind them, then Woodland Prince being tapped along with the whip. The next one wide is Jack's Flight with a droid close up on the inside of Jack's Flight. They're followed by Lose Hope just ahead of Eden Monaro who's on the rails. The next one is Sealy making ground. Chief Atess is second last and Cardigan Bay has caught up the field and is trailing Chief Atess in last place. The field is tightening up. Up along the back straight, two and a half furlongs out. Uh, two and a half laps out rather and Mary Mavis is the leader but White Tacky Hanover has gone past on the outside to take the lead away from Mary Mavis. White Tacky Hanover leads from Mary Mavis. Medium Blue up on the outside of Mary Mavis. Jack's flight is wide. Yonkers inside Jack's flight. The next one wide is Adroit. He's followed by Woodland Prince then Lose Hope. In on the rails behind them is Eden Monaro. Sealy is on the outside of Eden Monaro. They're followed by Chief Atess. And Cardigan Bay moving up behind Chief Atess and going up on the outside of that horse now. At the winning post, two circuits of the course to go. White Jackie Hanover slowing the field down. Leads from Medium Blue on the outside of Mary Mavis. They're followed then uh, on the outside by, uh, uh, on the inside rather, is Yonkers who just put his head on the uh, in front of Jack's flight. Uh, the next one is Adroit followed by Woodland Prince, then Loose Hope there, followed by Eden Minari. Sealy is on the outside of Eden Monaro, then uh, Chief Atess and Cardigan Bay are still last. 
on the top turn, about to come back to the straight again, and White Jackie Hanover with his driver, Kenley, sitting back against him, leads from Mary Mavis, then Medium Blue there, followed by Yonkers, Jack Swite on the outside of Yonkers, then adroit there's Woodland Prince loose over, and here's Cardigan Bay going fast around the outside of them. Seely is uh, next and Chief Atessa setting out and got a trail behind Cardigan Bay. Both of them are wide in the straight, in uh, running to the winning post. This is the bell. And here the leader is still Waitaki Hanover from Mary Mavis, then Medium Blue. Jack's Light taken out and moving forward. Uh, Adroit going on the inside of Cardigan and Bayo moves out quickly. After the bell on the three furlong turn. And Waitaki Hanover is still the leader from Jack's Light. They're followed by Mary Mavis. Cardigan Bay has uh, had to go right round them. In behind them then is Yonkers. They're followed by Medium Blue. Chief Atess setting out after them. And the others are a long way back with Seely going around the outside. Waitaki Hanover is still going strongly in front of Jack's flight. They're followed then by uh, Mary Mavis. Cardigan Bay has had to make a... Under the whip now, Cardigan Bay is finishing well. Edgar Kenley is suing the leader. Waitaki Hanover along. Cardigan Bay is hard at work... Uh, driver is hard at work on him. Waitaki Hanover leads uh, from uh, Cardigan Bay. Uh, he's, he's don't, I don't know whether he can win this. Waitaki Hanover leads well into the straight from Mary Mavis and uh, Cardigan Bay under the whip. But in the straight, Waitaki Hanover is coming away from Cardigan Bay. And now it's all over. Waitaki Hanover first, Cardigan Bay finished on again and ran second ahead of Mary Mavis. Then Chief Vitesse, Jack Slider, Droid, Eden Monaro, Yonkers, Seeley. The next one, Woodland Prince, Lose Hope and... Way. 10th of May 1963 and runners in the Harold Park free for all are parading uh, to the barrier. Uh, heading the parade at the moment, number two, Cardigan Bay, the New Zealand champion, uh, who was off the 48 yards in the 5,000 pound Easter Cup, um, second in a dramatic race to Waitaki Hanover. Uh, perhaps the danger in this race to uh, number two, Cardigan Bay, Maybe the Bird Alley trained and driven number seven, Chief Patess. Uh, Chief Patess returned to form uh, here at Howard Park Paceway last meeting. And uh, it's worth mentioning that uh, both these horses, Cardigan Bay and Chief Patess, their connections rejected invitations from Yonkers Paceway uh, to contest the international pace to be run shortly over in America. Uh, going down to the barrier now, the lowest, number seven, Chief Patess. We'll cross to the barrier when they jump. Howell Park Faceway, 10th of May, 1963. The free for all, race six. Uh, Cardigan Bay takes the lead past the winning boats from three to go with Jack Spite moving up on the outside. Tarkula in behind them. They're followed by Waitaki Hanover. Making up ground out wide, Woodland Prince with Chief Patess close up on the inside of Woodland Prince. A gap then to Eden Monaro. And Mary Mavis being sold along by Pick and is back in last place. Going pretty fast in the back straight. Cardigan Bay striding along in front. Jack Spite keeping him at it on the outside. Tarkula close up on the rails. Then Waitaki Hanover. The next one, Chief Patess. He's followed by Woodland Prince losing ground and being driven with a whip. Uh, the next one, Eden Monaro and then Mary Mavis on the top turn and coming back to the straight again and Cardigan Bay is still leading. Uh, Wilkins has a good hold on him in front of Jack's flight on the outside. Tarkula close up on the rails. Waitaki Hanover moving up wide. In behind them is Chief Patess there followed by Woodland Prince, Eden Monaro and last in the brace is Mary Mavis at the winning post. Two circuits of the course to go and here the leader Cardigan Bay sticking to the rails. A uh, very close in and uh, handy leader from on the outside Jack's flight. Tarkula close up the next one then uh, going up on the outside is Waitaki Hanover. They're followed by Chief Atess. Uh, Cardigan Bay slowing them down now. Woodland Prince getting up on the inside of Chief Atess. The next one, Eden Monaro. And Pick and lets Mary Mavis go from last place and he's making up ground. Cardigan Bay still leading nicely from Jack's flight on the outside. Then Tarkula. They're followed by Waitaki Hanover. Woodland Prince then Chief Atess. Mary Mavis and Eden Monaro is now squeezed out last. They're about to straighten a run down to the winning post and the bell. And Cardigan Bay moving along freely in front. Leads from Jack's flight on the outside. Tarkula close up on the rails. Waitaki Hanover wide is close up on the outside of Tarkula. Woodland Prince going through on the rails. Chief Atess is wide. They're followed by Mary Mavis trailing Chief Atess wide. 
And Eden Monaro went on the rear for Rails. About four lengths cover the field at the winning post and the bell. And here Cardigan Bay is still the leader from Jack's flight, then Tarkula. There followed by White Tacky Hanover wide in on the rails, Woodland Prince, then Chief for Test. The next one, Eden Monaro and Mary Mavis on the outside. This is a great race in the back straight. And Cardigan Bay is still uh, leading well from Jack's flight, then Tarkula, then White Tacky Hanover. Here's Chief for Test making ground out wide, then Woodland Prince, Mary Mavis, and uh, Eden and Monaro under the whip in front. Cardigan Bay is clear, but challenges are coming on the outside from White Tacky Hanover and further out Chief Adess. Uh, Walkins is hard at work on Cardigan Bay. White Tacky Hanover trying to reach him on the outside. Chief Adess and Tarkula sticking in behind them. Uh, Cardigan Bay leads into the straight from White Tacky Hanover and out wide Chief Adess in on the rails. Tarkula, it's Cardigan Bay clear of White Tacky Hanover. Chief Adess coming hard on the outside. Tarkula.